Hey guys, what's up? It's your buddy Keith, back here live in Essex Recording Studios, just outside London in England. We've uh, had a killer Christmas. Uh, I was in Denmark for Christmas, was also in Greece the week before. You can see we got some Christmas beer from uh, Jacobson while I was away. It's awesome. And now I'm back here at the studio with a huge, huge backlog of guitars. Uh, the hallway is full of them. I'll just show you out here. <laughs> got a few here, a few there, four there, a couple hiding out in the uh, live room, uh, one there, and a bunch around the corner. Yeah, we've got a lot of videos to do for you guys. So, I have to get cracking now that I'm back. It's just a day until the new year, and um, yeah, feels good. Thanks to all the loyal followers and subscribers. If you're new to the channel, click like, click subscribe, come join the circle of friends, and you will learn a lot about a lot of guitars that I get from all over the world each and every day and share with you up close and in person as if you were holding them in your very own hands. That's uh, something that's missing on YouTube that I've tried to bring. We're at over 500 videos of different guitar models from many different manufacturers, mostly the uh, big famous ones. And I think we've helped a lot of people. We're getting... Real close to 100,000 views a month, which is nuts. Thanks, guys. And uh, without further ado, let's talk about this 1987 Gibson Custom Shop uh, Les Paul Custom Light. This is a really special guitar um, that I found and had to have. As soon as I saw it, I said, this is a must buy. I love the gold hardware with the ebony board, black pickup rings. The Ferrari red with the black plastics um, and the ebony board just looks incredible. Really sporty looking. And then, of course, you've got the gorgeous, genuine Mother of Pearl Gibson logo, diamond, and inlays. None of this fake, nasty acrylic stuff we see these days. They don't get it. They, they charge you so much money for these guitars, and they put fake Mother of Pearl on them today. Well, this guitar is 30 two years old in a day it will be and a lot of special features about it just finishing the first go around on it for you up here here's the serial number all right eight one nine four seven five eight five eight is the 80s the three digits after that i think are the day of the year it was produced and then the, the next digit, the uh, fifth digit, is the, the year and the decade. So it's an 87. Awesome. Well, what can we say about this? So first of all, it's this uh, the color. This Ferrari red, from what I was told by the person who sold it to me, and, you know, I was two years old when this guitar was made, but uh, what I was told is that this was a special promotional um, guitar made for Ferrari. And being that we're here out in Europe, I guess it's not that far of a stretch. But uh, very different from some of the other models that we've seen. So there's no binding, front or back, top or bottom. No binding on the guitar, which gives it a very sleek look. I dig it. It just makes, you, it, makes it stand out from everything else you see. The other thing is it's light. Really nice and light. And it's got... A thin body. Thin body still has, um, you know, a little bit of a bevel cutaway here. Um, it's got an arch top, maple top as well. So carved maple top. Very nice. But it's a much more, I would say, nimble and playable Les Paul Custom. Uh, if I were to play one regularly this would be the one I would go to. Definitely. I don't like having a giant hunk of mahogany hanging off my neck for uh, hours on end. So I really like this because it's not chambered. Um, it's just shaved down. It's trimmed. And to the audience, you know, they really don't care about how thick your guitar is. All they care about is that it looks awesome and sounds awesome. And this does. Uh, all the hardware appears original. I was told these are the original pickups from 87. And uh, yeah, we've got the Grover tuners. Let's look at the, the font on those. 
Those look period correct. There's no extra holes or anything like that. Very cool. There's the font. Yeah. There's some chips along the edges. You can see the uh, mahogany through the chips. Um, some here as well on the body. The mahogany quite clearly visible. And then uh, uh, not much in the in the realm of uh, buckle rash or anything else like that. Same thing on the neck. Everything looks good. The binding all looks good. Little chip right there. Um, and then on the top, we've got some chips that have been just touched up with a little red marker. And uh, we can see the maple top. Obvious maple wood there. So it's, uh, I think we see a spot. You can see how thick the maple top is because I think there's one chip that shows where the maple meets the mahogany over here. There we go. I'll just show you so you can see, get an idea of how much of this body's mahogany and how much of it is maple. Let's get in focus, camera. There we go. So see, right there is where the, where the maple starts. There and above, so it's a thin maple top, and the rest is all, it's like a one-piece mahogany body. Cool. So, a little bit road-worn around the edges, but uh, from the front, I mean, that looks freaking beautiful. It's a killer. And a very rare Ferrari red color. Again, I don't know the history of this. Um, I can just tell you what the seller told me which was that Gibson made some promotional models for Ferrari uh, as far as the colors go. I don't know if it was um, in conjunction with some Ferrari advertising or if they were given to Ferrari. I don't know anything about it. You'll have to do your own Google homework or post about it in the uh, forums. But what I can tell you is it's very rare, a very rare spec, a very rare color. It's freaking gorgeous. And it plays and sounds bad ass. Your buddy Keith wouldn't wouldn't buy anything else and show it to you. We only do badass guitars here. Cool. Well, I hope you guys got a kick out of it. I thought it would be an interesting one to kick off the weekend Sunday now, uh, right before the new year, before I overload you with like a billion guitar videos since uh, I've been away for a little bit. But, uh, yeah, hope everyone got what they wanted for Christmas and uh, is looking forward to some responsible partying New Year's night. And if you stick around on this channel, there'll be some more guitar videos coming your way. If you want to chat about this one, uh, hit me up on Facebook, Essex Recording Studios. Uh, we're also on Instagram, at Essex Recording Studios, and the Twitter, at Essex Recording if you want to buy this guitar, it's up on our website, EssexRecordingStudios.com and on Reverb.com. Our good buddies Reverb host our website and uh, we throw all of our stuff up there. So check it out. Lots of videos, or lots of pictures up there, high resolution. And then, of course, this video gives you a great idea of what it's like as well. Frets look great. Uh, original. You can see all the nibs on the binding. Super cool. All right, guys, I am Audi 5000. More guitar videos coming your way. Stick around. Click subscribe. Click like. See you later. Bye.